working on that um, dress. I want to try to re um, reproduce from that uh, 25 inch doll I um, bought recently. Um, I, I decided to go with a pattern like this and the reason I did is um, because I don't have a continuous pattern for one thing and I thought since I'm just trying to do it I'll just start with something simple. I was going to use this row, uh, heart but it puckered too much so I thought I'd go with something like this design. This was a free design. I'm not even sure where I got it. It might have been Designs by Sick. But um, it's just a, a flower with um, some curly cues and a little crosses here. So what I needed to do is I needed to figure out how much um, organza I needed for the bottom of the skirt. So I went with um, extra on the top. I put my hem in first and the reason I put the hem in first is because I want to measure up from I want to measure up from to get my designs located in the right location. And I decided to go instead of going right next to each other with each each one, I decided to put 10 spaces in between and the reason for that is I figured once I start gathering the top um, by the time I get this fully gathered, the designs are going to be right on top of each other anyway. So I thought I'll just go, you know, just for a try. I'm just trying it. I'm just seeing what it's going to look like. So what I found out is an easy way to line up your designs is to take a plain piece of white paper and um, go up from the bottom. From the bottom of my organza hem, I'm going up six inches to the center of my design. You don't have to do this, but it's it's for organza. It's easy because you can see right through and get your lining uh, clickety split. You know, it's so fast because all you're doing is lining up the bottom of your hem with the piece of paper, and it's lining and it's um, perfectly aligned to the center of your design. So, get this out of the way. You're going to need to use your um, plastic uh, centering uh, device that you got with your machine and when you use it you want to make sure that you're always looking at your uh, hoop exactly the way um, you see it in the in the green picture down here if you don't align it like that you're going to end up with a lot of a lot of trouble and the reason why is you have if it's not lined up correctly, you've got five eighths of an inch over here and only three eighths of an inch on this side. So if you turn this around upside down or whatever, you're going to get you're going to be off by um, up to um, what's um, two eighths, four eighths, up to half an inch. Two eighths on each side, one quarter. Yeah, you could be up to half an inch in each of your uh, alignments. So always make sure ABC is in front. Your hoop is on the bottom like it shows in the picture and your plastics aligned. Your three quarters, three eighths of an inch is on this side, five eighths on this side. Okay, so this thing also has um, one, two, three, four, five holes in it, and that's how you lay it on your fabric and you align your design. I bought a uh, marking pen at Walmart. It's called Fine Point Disappearing Ink Marking Pen. It, it uh, marks purple, and it does disappear um, by itself, just in the air, but not always. Um, you don't want to iron it before you wash it, or it's going to be permanent. And um, if you have if you have sizing in your fabric, this one has never been washed, and there was sizing in it, and I did this days and days ago, and you can still see faint purple marks on the uh, heart here. And this one I just remarked, so you can see how you decide where your center is. So what you do is you you can find out the center of your design by um, your machine will tell you the center just by um, looking at the design. On your first stitch it always centers itself when you start a new design. But um, some actually embroidery designs will finish and start in the center so you can get an alignment. But anyway that's the design I'm doing on Organza. So what I did is I marked my piece of white paper six inches from the bottom and I can see through um, I put my hem in I can see through the uh, paper I mean the organza to the paper and now I can have an easy way of lining from the bottom so if I take my hem here and line it to the bottom of my paper I know when I place my design on here 
I'm exactly six inches across. And it's, you, you can try and figure it out just by using a ruler, but this piece of paper underneath makes it so much easier. Because there you've got your six inches here, you've got your six inches here. You can um, uh, figure out your alignment by going to, well, this one would have a purple mark on it already from my last time I embroidered. And I know that the center of my design is right here between the green and the purple. So there's my center. So now I'm going to go ahead and move my um, plastic centering and I'm going to mark my um, marks. I'm going to put marks in each of those holes and I'm going to make sure my design is centered. And I'm putting 10 inches between center and center, 10 squares between center here to center here. So I'm just going to make sure that's all aligned up. Make sure that's six inches to the upper line. It's lined up with the bottom of my paper. Lined up. So center to center. Okay, so my next center is going to be right here. So now I'm working from center to center. So now what I can do is I can move this over a little bit. I've got my center point. Okay, this also marks the paper, so be careful the paper doesn't confuse you. So I've got my center point. It goes through the paper. That's one of the bad things. But there's my center point. So now I can go ahead and align it. And there's my center here. I'm one squares. I've got my six inches on my paper. My squares lined up. Now I can mark my other four dots. On organza, you're going to want to make sure you give a lot of a uh, lot of the purple um, because it's just going to disappear right into the. It doesn't last long on organza. I've had to remark. Okay, so remove the paper so it doesn't confuse you. I'll turn it upside down so you can see where my four marks are. I don't know if I do it this way. I'll put that in. Let me put this covered up. Put your wash away underneath. Okay. And you can get that pretty even. Okay, so I'll get your hoop out. To, if you're if you're if you're lining, you don't want to put another mark. See how you can barely see those marks? You might want to darken them up a little bit. Let me try to darken them up without getting any, getting mark, any ink on the without getting any ink on the um, so you can see it in the video. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it. And you want to darken these up. See how it disappears? You really got to mark these. Um, otherwise, they're just going to disappear into thin air. Let me use the top one again. our four marks. Okay, so now we've got our four marks. We want to center here where we're going to put it on the hoop. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hoop and you're going to put your plastic on it, set it in there, and you're going to line up those marks with um, Once you've got those lined up, one, 
two and three, your center, your center. You're going to take a couple pins and this is not centered. All right, I'm pretty close now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pins and I'm going to lift my fabric up. Make sure they're sharp so you don't catch the um, organza. And I'm going to take this off. I'm going to wrap this around the hoop. You don't have to do this. But trust me, when you're doing this, it makes it so much easier when you try to get it on the other hoop, on the frame. It is just a lifesaver. I spent uh, trying to figure out so much time trying to figure out how to transfer that. You know, even just by lifting it and sliding it, it gets way out of whack. So if you do it like this and you put your hoop underneath and you line up everything, it sort of keeps it in the right location. So just set it down there, push it in. Okay. Some people probably will say, oh, this is too much work, but it's a light, it's a time saver. Instead of trying to keep trying to get it all figured out. Okay, so now we've got that. You can take your pins out. And you want to be careful, tighten your hoop a little bit. See how you got those four purple marks? You want to keep them right in the right location. So gently pull your from each side. Keep pulling until you get a taunt. I work really hard to get this taunt because organza will pucker badly if you don't get it really, really tight. Okay, see how I've got those four? I think they might be a little too low from the bottom. But take the frame, the same thing, ABC showing, and work your hoop until all four of those little purple marks you put in are in the right location. It's hard to do this on camera. Okay, I can already tell already, see that purple mark there? Purple mark here, I'm off by at least an eighth of an inch, maybe I'm up to a quarter. So I've got to pull everything to the top. Okay. So just keep working it until you get line up all four of those purple dots. And that's how you use this frame. See, I'm still off a little bit right there. I've got to bring it up a little bit. So that's my alignment. That's how I'm going to get that aligned. So once I get that perfectly aligned and it's as tight as a drum in the back, then I'm ready to do my next uh, floral. But that's how you use this um, plastic hoop and it's how you align your four marks. And that piece of paper with the line just helps you get an e easy alignment. Uh, across the, because uh, you can see right through the organza. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a good one.